Welcome. In this video, we'll guide you through the fundamentals of lead management in Salesforce. By the end, you'll understand the value of using leads in Sales Cloud, how to create your own leads, use the lead conversion process, and build customized strategies for managing leads in your business. Let's get started. Leads are your potential customers. Information about them is stored in the lead object, so that's often the first place a prospective customer exists in your Salesforce system. Leads are typically unqualified prospects identified through your website, events, ad campaigns, and more. Leads show interest in your products and services without making a purchase. Often, the marketing team owns lead generation and lead nurturing, then the sales team converts qualified leads into contacts. Adding leads to Sales Cloud makes it easier to keep track of people who are interested in doing business with you. It gives you insight into who is most likely to become a customer. The lead object also makes it easier to market to potential customers and monitor and report on those marketing efforts. Sales Cloud provides a structured yet customizable way to manage leads. When you use it to create a system for lead management, it helps increase the number of leads you generate convert, close more sales, and grow your business. In Salesforce, each lead is stored as a lead record. Each lead record acts as your central hub for monitoring interactions and strategizing future activities with your lead throughout the sales process. A standard Salesforce lead record contains fields with key information about your lead. The most important ones are lead owner, lead status, and lead source. Lead owner lists the person in charge of moving this lead through the pipeline. Lead status allows reps to prioritize activities based on which stage a lead is in, such as new, working, nurturing, unqualified, and qualified. Lead source provides insights into your marketing efforts by showing where your lead came from, like social media or email. Along with these fields, each lead record includes key tabs, the Details tab provides a space to review and update lead information. The Related tab showcases any linked campaigns or files associated with your lead. The Activity tab serves as a comprehensive space for logging calls and emails from conversations with your lead. Additionally, within the Activity tab, you can plan ahead by creating tasks or events. By centralizing key information about your lead, Lead records help you progress through the sales process more efficiently. As you move through the sales process, determining when to convert a lead into a contact depends on your specific business. Usually it happens when the lead meets certain criteria, like signing up for a demo, presenting a clear plan to buy, and having the right budget in mind. The process of figuring out which leads are most likely to become happy customers is called lead qualification. In Salesforce, your goal with leads is to drive conversion. That's the moment when a prospect becomes qualified to buy. Converting a lead creates a contact along with an account and an opportunity. But first you have to qualify that lead. The Leads Workspace is a powerful interface that emphasizes the actions you'll take to drive conversion. Front and center is Sales Path which can be customized for your sales process to include your statuses and contextual guidance at each step. Now that we've gone over some of the basics, let's see how to add a new lead to Salesforce. To get started, click the Leads tab. Next, click New Lead. Select the lead record type, which determines the fields and layout for the record. In this example, you can choose Lead, Lead Deal, Registration, or Lead Partner, Application. Enter the lead's first and last name, company, title, email, and lead status into your lead record, as well as any required fields or additional information you have about your lead. Let's see the lead conversion process in action. On the Leads tab, open the lead record you want to convert. Next, select the drop-down arrow. Using your path component, you'll see your sales process that highlights key fields and guidance to help you along the way. You will work through the different stages of your path on your way through the conversion process. Click Convert, which opens the lead conversion form. The lead conversion form starts the process of your single lead record, turning into three new separate records within Salesforce, the contact, account, and opportunity records. 
The lead record becomes the contact pulling over information to create the account as well as the potential opportunity. If you're converting a lead who works for an existing account, select that one instead. Note, if you have duplicate management rules in place, options will populate here on the right-hand side to prevent you from creating duplicate records. You'll have the option to create an opportunity upon conversion, or you can check the box below to create an opportunity later. If creating a new opportunity, we recommend using a standardized naming convention. That might be the service you're providing or a naming convention specific to your business. For example, we'll call this opportunity Service 10K. Now that we've gone over how to add leads to Salesforce, here are a few tips for building a successful lead management strategy. First, work with your sales and marketing teams to document common steps for generating new business. That way, you can find opportunities to build a consistent process that can evolve over time. Our reports and dashboards can help you identify trends and areas for improvement. Next, implement data validation rules to ensure your data is clean and establish criteria for lead qualification. You should also use the matching rules in Sales Cloud to identify duplicate records. From there, use duplicate rules to block, alert, or report duplicate records. Note that if you've enabled person accounts and the lead record didn't include a company name, the lead is converted into a person account and an opportunity. With these tips in mind, you're well on your way to building a lead management strategy that creates consistent growth in your business. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.